Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Right, who will decide? So what we will do is, right, you can also give your suggestion say, saying that let's go with the device which is more popular and uh, most uses, like many number of users are uh, using this particular device, you can always provide your suggestion. And also when we are deciding the device means what we will do, we will de decide the device based on the usage, like how that device is using by the user, end user. Right? Not like that. There is no function basic testing, there is no final testing. At all. What you can do, right? This is my plan here. Say for example, I'm having this kind of devices need to be tested. But my organization right, gave me only HTC. What I will do, I will test my HTC thoroughly with my application and remaining all I will test in the uh, emulator, but I can test uh, the functionalities which will support my emulator. I cannot test like uh, interruption. I cannot test my, what do you call, uh, what else? So I cannot test my interruption, I cannot test my USB, I cannot test my scanning functionality like this, okay? So there is no basic testing, there is no functional testing, again, okay? Again, there is no basic and all, right? You cannot say that basic and all. You can do your testing parallelly with your emulator and your device. What you can do is, right, when you are testing that uh, device, you will test all the functionality. When you are testing with the emulator, what you can do is, you can test it and while testing what I will do, all my interruption test cases, I will make as NR, that means no run. I cannot execute in my emulator. Right? That's what, what you can do, right? When you are writing your uh, test case itself, right? What you can do is here, you can write your, uh, what do you call, here you can write your status itself, right? Say that like to pass, fail, NR, I will say NR. What do you mean by NR? There is no execution file, no run. Uh, Windows operating system, you know Lumia, Nokia is there, right? Nokia, Lumia is there, and Dell Venue Pro is there. Dell Venue Pro. Oh, right. See, someone asked me like uh, regarding this uh, Windows operating system. Windows operating system is nothing but like right uh, Dell Venue Pro, and then Nokia, Lumia is there. And then uh, Microsoft is there. Not sure. Now, right, uh, going forward, going forward, all the Nokia mobiles will come with Windows only because now Microsoft with uh, tie up with Nokia, right? Like that. See, where we do automation means right? We will do the automation for our functionality testing, right? Not this interruption angle. We will do for our functionality testing. Prasad, what I need to say that uh, we, uh, can we do automation on emulator uh, where uh, we will do it? It will be on. It will be in testing environment uh, because on devices we cannot do. Uh, I think the uh, automation testing. So, no, no, no. Uh, you can do. You can do automation testing for both your emulators and your devices. You can do both. 
Uh, in devices we can do automation testing yes yes how yes what will happen is right like uh, once your device is connected to your laptop then what will happen is right so you need to install some agents in your device then automatically right your device will be detected by your uh, software and uh, once you are doing any operations right it will okay. be recorded you have something okay right. so we need some third party software to connect both yes. these pcs yes. okay. remember one thing remember one thing when you are talking about mobile application automation every time configuration is important right you cannot do directly like, like not, not like web application just open the application record it not like that here every time you need to install the agent i will talk more on that right so going forward okay now right you can also have you can also get this kind of question like what kind of challenges you face in your mobile application the very first common answer is lack of physical devices we don't have any number of devices as per my business i need to test my application with these many devices but my team provided only few devices that's the first thing because right like, if i am having all the physical devices then i can make sure that my application is working properly in each and every device if i am doing testing in emulator also i have some limitations and also i cannot rely my emulator like my physical device fine and like what is my next challenge is like right i have variety of uh, right time consuming see mobile application testing itself time consuming right see if you talk about here right test case writing right if it is taking that uh, one hour execution i need to execute 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that means right for execution right i may take 4 hours of time right? and also if you are changing the screen size right it may go like it will take a lot of time that's why right there is also one challenge you can see the challenge here let me have a here. question Uh, do we have to configure for each and every device right we have to yeah. configure yeah yeah for automation not for manual testing okay see manual testing you can simply write uh, right away you can start it right whatever we are discussing that is 100 and 100% that is enough for your manual testing nothing i mean nothing more required again if you want to learn more things like right i want to learn more about android testing how to get my screenshots and then how to get that uh, loop and then how to write the some command right that is and all right that will be cover as part of your advanced things and all that's a different story this is enough to start with any mobile application test see see in what extent means that there is no extent right if you don't have devices you have to work with emulator there is no extent and all but right uh, what i am saying is what i am trying to say always we we need to write uh, force for the pressure for the physical devices but end of the day how many devices we are getting right based on that you need to plan for emulator just a question prasad uh, how do we take a screenshot if there is a defect on when we are testing on emulator or when a physical device yeah emulator means right it's emulator is nothing but it's running in your uh, desktop only right you can say that uh, print screen but if you want to work with your uh, iphone is easy to take the screen chat like just print uh, press your uh, uh, top icon and then home icon right if you are using your iphone right if you want to take a screen chat what you will do you will press that power button and you will uh, press that home button simultaneously automatically screen chat will be taken okay thanks so power and home together yeah if you are having iphone you can give it right now uh, i have an android yeah. okay thank you how do you take it on android uh, like android right uh, you need to follow some steps i here i cannot uh, i mean explain that because that right, android you need to follow some steps actually you need to enable your ddms and a lot of steps are there and again right if you are using your latest mobiles like 4.2 right same same applicable like so you can uh, press your uh, power and your home it will work for the latest devices like 4.2 4.3 like that oh okay okay you can give it a try thank you so much yeah
here right uh, someone is being right this is for your latest mobile color this is for latest mobile this is not for uh, lower end devices this is like probably you are using some uh, 4.0 or 4.1 right yeah right right that's what galaxy nexus is 4.2 i guess 4.2 yeah 4.2 i guess yeah correct now here right variety of mobile devices that means that i'm having lot of mobile devices say for example if you are going to store i'm getting like hundreds of food devices like i cannot test with each and everything that is also one challenge for me see way to test like touch mobiles are there teacher mobiles are there like flip flip mobiles are there tablets are there so many are there so this is also one challenge for me on different operating systems i need to test i need to test ios android windows then um, blackberry if it is applicable right you have to check with uh, each and every operating system then again someone is asking like oh uh, Again, right? Uh, uh, coming to, I mean, Shashi, like, right? If you want to do your uh, auto, uh, mobile uh, testing with the QTP, then uh, you need some skills. Otherwise, right? If you don't, if you want to go with other tools, right? Not as well. Fine. Yeah, here, right? Uh, mobile uh, mobile network operators also, right? I need to test with uh, so many operators are available in the right nowadays. Right? You can have n number of operators. so i need to test with each and every operator that is not possible actually what we will do is we will mention all this stuff in the test stand we will clearly mention these are all the devices we are targeting we are testing only with this devices in production if you are getting any issues with this device then only qa is responsible and if we are getting issues with uh, mobiles which is not mentioned in the test plan qa is not responsible so we will clearly mention right different uh, who is providing your service provider right service provider right mobile network operators is nothing but your service provider so i have a question here yeah. while doing mobile application the version is different while releasing uh, it is different then how to do that sorry uh, i didn't get you no while uh, we are operating on mobile the version is like example it is 4 and uh, while releasing 4.5 and then what to do at that time mm -hmm. it, it i'm not here actually i'm sorry okay i will write it in the chat box. yeah yeah sure sure thank you okay now right i'm having right here right so i'm having different screen sizes so i'm having different resolutions right and also this is nothing but my adequate process that means that this is not poor process like right we are not having the proper process right they will say that simply test with a different mobile they have to clearly mention what they are targeting so process is very important for my mobile application and also what will happen even though i tested with so many devices here right you can see here i tested with all the devices and i launched my application tomorrow i got one more uh, device into the market then again it's a repetition again i have to do that this is a challenge this is right uh, this is uh, no way related to your test cases and this is a challenge okay we are testing in 4.3 yeah yeah this is what right uh, this will basically uh, this is uh, answer your question right this is a challenge for me right so if it is 4.3 i tested i clearly mention in my test plan saying that uh, uh, qa is testing with 4.3 that means we will release with 4.3 only next what we will do we will test again with that uh, 4.5 that is called forward compatibility test that is called right forward uh, one second sorry one, one second so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2k infosys.com 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.